been past three, uh, past three years, four years now, the caribou has been uh, away. So we had to keep going at for further and further to get some caribou every, every fall. I think it was important uh, centuries ago, and it still it is very important a uh, food source for all the people in Nunavut, including this community, mainly because uh, the people living here uh, to somewhat uh, quite a lot have survived over caribou only, including fish and caribou. And there's um, inland people who call it Helmut from uh, Hicks Lake and Anadai Lake area, as well as the people from uh, Yadkit Lake, Sikulikyok, who have, uh, you know, used the caribou as a main source of food uh, for their family and clothing as well. So caribou is the one of the main source of food in this community. And we made meat pound. Dry meat, meat pound. You ever seen one? It's brown and nice soft ones. And she cut all the bo uh, fat and they grease out of it, the fat. Oh, I love that. And narrows too. She, she heats it up and they make a, a grease out of it and the bone too. He smashed it all the bone with the axe on the rock and he boiled that raw and the bone and the pill and they take all the greases out. They, they just threw only hair, they said. They use it all for everything and caribou. And the bone, that's all they threw. It. They even use it for bones for something like this for to go scrip the caribou high bone here in the lake. They make a lot of things of knives, it's all kinds of bone. Yeah.